Hello everyone and welcome back. With just one month left uh, for BITSAT, let's just discuss everything you need to know about the exam, the pattern, the syllabus, everything. And before we dive into that, I just want to discuss something really important. And that is, please do not believe everything you hear, especially on the internet and from uninformed people. So what I mean to say is, look at this comment. Uh, this was recently posted on the Facebook group Bitsat Queries where uh, one aspirant is uh, has been informed, wrongly informed that the difficulty of Bitsat keeps increasing as the days progress. So now he was the one who who had uh, actually booked the last, uh, last slot and now he is getting visibly agitated over the fact because someone told him that uh, the difficulty increases. So now with so much, uh, so much of the exam performance depending on uh, your psychology uh, when you go into the exam, now if he goes thinking that he is going to have a tough paper then it's difficult to perform well. So the sad part about it is that some over smart person just gave this aspirant this, uh, this opinion or uh, just stated it like a fact like that is the truth and now this uh, aspirant has to kind of suffer because of it because some over smart person who had no business uh, giving this information and spreading these uh, myths uh, was just irresponsible with uh, how he's uh, how he dealt with this situation so all i wanted to say is like you will see a lot of content about beats about other colleges you will hear from a lot of people but when you get any information please please verify the sources and uh, try to judge if they are qualified enough to give you that advice um, even in the recommendations uh, or the the next suggestions for for this video on in the sidebar and uh, below uh, below the video you would see a lot of videos discussing bits and other people other colleges but uh, just ask yourself like who are these people to give you advice and uh, uh, they they probably haven't even like if they're comparing two colleges say bits and some iit like have they even set foot in one of these colleges so uh, unless you have that experience it's it's hard to give out the true information so please if you take just one uh, take away from this uh, video or from this entire channel let it be that uh, uh, you should verify all the information that you get you should not trust people blindly and all all your information that you get should be from reliable sources so with that said uh, without further ado let's jump into everything about bitsat and as i said uh, we'll use some very uh, authentic sources we'll use the best possible uh, uh, source for uh, our facts and which is the official documentation of uh, bitsat so let's uh, let's jump right in so here I have the BITSAT 2019 brochure. You can get a copy of this from the BITS admission uh, website. Here in the 2019 announcement, it's uh, listed here. And if you go here and scroll down, you'll see the 2019 brochure. This is the one that I have downloaded right here and uh, we'll be using for the discussion of everything that you need to know about BITSAT. So here it starts with some basic information and these are the programs that are offered. These are the dual degree programs and the general studies. So as we have discussed in previous videos, this general studies option is generally reserved for the children of the supporting staff of the institute. So you need not consider this. Uh, for B Pharma candidates, uh, a PCB background, a physics, chemistry and biology background is also acceptable and going further below we see that uh, this this question comes quite often that uh, if i have repeated in uh, in my uh, plus two boards so can i sit or can i sit for bitsat or which performance will be considered so here it is clearly mentioned that if he has taken more than one attempt then the latest performance will be considered so that is the important thing another question on bitsat queries group was have they changed the marking system so we'll see about that also here we see that admissions will be based purely on merit so 
this is also another common concern even in the website they are showing that there are a lot of scams going on uh, when it comes to admission in bits so please please do not fall for those bits does not have any kind of management quota so anyone promising you a direct admission is a fraud now uh, there is a direct admission uh, to board topper scheme where irrespective of their bits at score if you if they have rank 1 in their respective boards they are given a direct entry uh, into bits So now coming to the details of Bitsat, it's an online test, very important. So you have the right mindset, and the test format is specified very clearly. So as I said, there was another question on Bitsat asking like, has anything changed? Are they switching to the percentile system? Has the syllabus changed? So all these questions can be ans answered right here in the documents that they have provided on the website. We just need to go through them. So as we see, the test format is. Uh, four sections: physics, chemistry, English, logical reasoning, math, or biology, depending on what uh, stream you are in. Uh, apart from that, it's a plus three, minus one, uh, multiple choice scheme. Uh, there is no time limit for individual parts of the test. This is also important. So uh, sections like English proficiency and logical reasoning, you can uh, save time on and spend those times, uh, spend that time in solving like longer questions in math and physics. Even chemistry, you can solve relatively quickly. Uh, then this part i wish i knew when i was writing bit side but i didn't so uh, if a candidate can answer all 150 questions without skipping any question then you will get 12 additional questions four from each physics chemistry and math or biology and once you unlock these 12 questions you cannot go back to the 150 questions that you already answered so Uh, here it says that guessing of the answer is not likely to have any advantage but may result in a reduction of the total score but that is a very subjective kind of choice and uh, you have to decide whether uh, you go with a more optimistic mindset that for every 3 uh, wrong answers only one right answer can correct the choice so it it's more on the mindset of the candidate how optimistic he he or she wants to be and this is the question this is the uh, this is the thing that could have solved the doubt of that aspirant where it mentions that uh, the questions will be selected at random from a large question bank different candidates will get different question sets so an expert committee uh, will ensure that the question sets are of comparable difficulty level content and question type so it is completely random it does not matter what slot you are in but sometimes just because it is random and it is different for everyone sometimes someone might get a slightly difficult paper someone might get a slightly easier paper so people sp uh, uh, people uh, spreading all these kinds of myths it's just ridiculous um needless to say you should bring a pen um the syllabus is given uh, in this brochure very clearly so another query as i mentioned was that um, has bitsat changed its syllabus so that is very clearly given uh, below so i would leave that to you i won't take that in the video there's too much to cover but uh, you can easily check out what what all is required in your preparation for bitsat uh, the score report uh, you'll immediately get the score and here also it mentions like that the, uh, the aspirant was asking whether it has a percentile system now it's not it's clearly written that it will be based just on the term of just on the uh, number of uh, correct answers and wrong answers so he just get the score so then there's this merit list preparation and this is an important part because it can help you strategize a little bit so when the score of two candidates are the same so for tie breaking first they consider the math score then the physics score and then the chemistry score so if you are equally comfortable in uh, say math and physics so it would kind of make more sense to devote a little bit more time to math because this kind of thing happens a lot so uh, it might not seem like it at the first glance but a lot of people will, will be there at the same score and they, i can tell this from my personal experience because um, in my branch only i know of at least 6 people who had the same score as me and who were uh, ranked above me because they had a higher score in math so this can be a useful strategy where you devote time such that you can optimize your score a little bit then there's the list of test centers not that important important dates are there procedure for applying you have already applied so that's not a big deal i'll not discuss that 
so here again see this is so important it comes out every year that uh, the difficulty is ran like the paper is random the difficulty will be almost equal for everyone so they have mentioned it twice apart from that not much of important things here is the syllabus at the end so please go through this and uh, it's mostly ncrt based so you just look at it what what is required what is not required so it's given in complete detail so you don't need to ask anyone anywhere you have all this uh, very precise and very accurate information at your disposal all this uh, is the syllabus and at the end they just show an application form which i'm sure you've already filled so uh, not much to discuss there so yeah that's it uh, there those are the three campuses and yeah for i think that is it and uh, you should uh, just go through this document even though i have ran through it just take 5 minutes of your time and just go through it read it and this is a very good source of how to strategize and what exactly will be the pattern and everything like that so i'll see you next time thanks for joining